This is your boy James over at Expecto Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Wizards Unite content. And today, we're here to actually answer your questions in regards to the adversary feature just dropping in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. And these are the answers coming from the team in regards to those questions. Yo, we got a lot to cover. Also this week, we're gonna be talking about professions and their proficiency against the adversaries and the adversary skill tree. So uh, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any of those videos when we break them down. So yo, without further ado, let's dive right on into the questions and answers. So early access to this information is provided by WB and Niantic. So shout out. And of course the questions submitted are from you guys. So thank you so much. So the very first question, how do we get edible dark markers? Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, edible dark markers are what spawn um, adversaries. And so a lot of people want this item so we can get more adversaries on the map. Their response is, EDMs can be purchased in the store and can also be rewarded with events or included in bundles. So uh, that is how you are able to get edible dark markers via bundles, store, or events. Next, can adversaries appear without the edible dark marker? Which is a very valid question because we don't want a pay to win feature uh, with this adversaries. And so their response is adversaries can appear without EDMs active, which is very good to hear. Uh, the, it, the chances of um, coming across an adversary without the edible, edible dark marker uh, will vary, I guess. We'll just have to wait and see and do some testing in regards to that feature. They continue with, the overall chance of this will increase during adversaries events. So we have one coming up this Friday. So we're gonna get a lot more on the map when the event is live. Uh, such events will have a different themes similar to Wizarding Weekend, and this will influence what adversaries pop up, which again is very cool and makes sense. We have um, Draco and uh, Fenry right now for the upcoming first event uh, for adversaries. So um, there's gonna be a theme. I think there's even gonna be a story behind it. So very encouraging and cannot wait to see how this will work, but you will be able to see um, adversaries without using the edible dark marker. Moving on. How many adversaries spawn from edible dark markers? Um, an edible dark marker will spawn three, three adversaries from uh, that item. So that's what, one every 10 minutes considerably. And this makes sense because uh, these battles between the adversaries aren't supposed to go through fast. There's supposed to be some difficulty there. So three spawning from um, an edible dark marker is the count you will be seeing on your map. Will the trace charm work on the adversary trace? Sadly, no, it will not work, but there is a bug currently in the game that is allowing uh, adversaries to spawn from the trace charm when placed on uh, the normal traces on your map. Now, a lot of people have seen them with the flares. Uh, this, There's no certain or confirmed mechanic as to how or why, we just know it is a bug. So, until that bug is fixed, that might be another avenue you might wanna consider pursuing in regards to trying to get more uh, adversaries to appear on your map. But, in regards to the trace charm, you cannot use the trace charm on an adversary trace. Before starting the counter, is there any way to know uh, which adversaries or foes uh, you're going to encounter so you can switch profession? Their answer is no. Um, outside of the feared icon and the lethal icon, there is no way to know uh, who you will be battling against. So that being the case, uh, just make sure you have a good amount of potions and uh, have a profession you're familiar with before going into these things. Start testing it out and then you can go from there. All right, next question is, if you get knocked out, can you return to the same battle? And that answer is no, you cannot return to the same battle if you get knocked out. That is going to be it. Same thing is going to happen 
if you hit exit. Now, there will be a prompt asking if you are sure you want to leave. Um, there also will be a prompt coming up once you've defeated one of the uh, three, four, or five um, foes leading up to the adversary. It's going to um, ask you, do you want to fight on? You can hit that button to continue battling during the adversary encounter or hit X, which will allow you to leave. And again, it's going to ask you, are you sure? So you once you leave, once you're out, yo, that's it. That's it with that encounter. The next question, will you have your HP restored after winning each battle? And that response is yes. Yes, you will have your HP restored in between each battle or before starting a new battle after you have successfully defeated the previous foe. So, yo, that is very cool. Um, and at least some, again, leading to some strategies moving forward in regards to how adversaries will work. Are the adversaries elites and will they count towards the achievement? Sadly, no, they are not elites and you will not get your elite achievement once defeating these adversaries so ah uh, that sucks but it makes sense again this is a totally new feature and the achievement is strictly for wizarding challenges how does the combat feature work with adversaries and they read when starting an adversary's combat you will see the first foe in the chain and there will be a gold diamond under the foe's HP meter that tells you what the arch foe is. Each foe you defeat, you will see a reward screen and receive rewards for that win. At the bottom, there will be a button that says fight on. Your HP will be restored completely, which we touched on, and you will see the next foe, uh, which profession would be proficient against certain foes. And they have a deep dive response in regards to that question. They say, there is an affinity attached to the foes, meaning certain professions have advantages against certain foes. Note though, combat profession affinities will apply only to guards in common feared chains. The arch foes in common feared chains uh, will have shared affinities. All foes in lethal chains will also have shared affinities. Now, that is a mouthful. So, basically, if we break it down, the feared adversaries and the foes leading up to them, those foes leading up to the adversaries, those are considered foes, and then the adversaries are considered arch foes. So, leading up with any feared, feared, okay? Feared adversary or arch foe. Those foes leading up to that, you will have an advantage against based on your profession and based on the foe. That will not be the case once you get to the arch foe in feared encounters or in feared chains. Now, this is completely uh, different when you get in lethal chains. Lethal chains, those foes and arch foes, those foes, those guards leading up to the arch foes, there will be no affinity. There will be no advantage based on your profession, if that makes sense. All right. Here on the screenshot uh, is broken down, color coded and based on the profession. So on the right side are the arch foes or the adversaries. That's black because there is no advantage based on your profession. So everybody's going to be on an even kill when going against the adversaries. But on the left, they are the foes or the guards leading up to those arch foes or adversaries. They are color coded and that is going to be based on your profession. And we'll do a deep dive video about this specific topic once uh, we get to that video. So definitely, definitely uh, be on the lookout for that this week. Next question is, uh, what are the adversary skill tree currency? And that's going to be scrolls, spell books, restricted books, and Dada books. If you look at your skill tree in game right now, especially if you've updated it, uh, you will see three sections, the one on the right, the one on the left, and the one down the middle. The one on the right will be your precision nodes that you can increase. The one on the left will be your dodge nodes, uh, which you can uh, work on and build up and increase. And then on the middle, on the bottom, will be your accuracy nodes. The two at the top, those will only affect feared encounters so whatever you upgrade the right left or both 
those upgrades will only apply to feared encounters. The ones on the bottom will only apply to lethal encounters. Again, we're going to do a deep dive this week in regards to the skill tree. So be on the lookout for that. But yo, that is going to be it. That is going to be it in regards to the questions you guys sent and the answers from the Harry Potter Wizards Unite team. Thank you to both parties for uh, participating in this and trying to uh, get a better understanding of this feature, which is the adversaries dropping in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. But yo, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, if you found any, any value in regards to this video, please drop that like. All of it helps the video and the channel reach others like yourselves who are interested in this topic and a lot of you guys are concerning adversaries. So if you could, drop that like. Also consider subscribing to Expecto Go. Um, here, here you can get all the latest and greatest from WB and Niantic in regards to events, new features, uh, everything concerning the world of Harry Potter Wizards Unite. If it's going to be coming out, it's going to be dropping here. So consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Also, follow us on our various forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. Uh, there we'll be socializing with fellow players like yourselves, uh, having some fun, talking about the game, talking strategy, and uh, the whole nine. So, yo, check us out there. Night bus sessions on the weekends all the time. So, uh, yo, we, we get after it and we have some fun along the way. So, yo, that's it. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. I will see you in the next video. Until.